I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 19 verse 23. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. You all know that Christian life is not a religion, but it is an experience of walking with the Almighty God. It is the true relationship with the heavenly father the holy eternal one we have received the blessed privilege to be the children of god through the experience of the new birth we have received salvation from the judgment of god we have been delivered from sin but the question is can this relationship be true if it is controlled by fear When we look at the other beliefs of other religions we can see how traditions and rituals try to instill a sense of fear in the life of a person and so they try to please god through their good works and offerings as they fear that the fury of god will ruin their life here the scripture does not mean that kind of fear in the life of a child of god but the scripture says the fear of the lord tendeth to life man lost the life of god in him because sin took control of his life and if sin which is the most unholy thing in the eyes of the lord rules our life then man can never have a relationship with the almighty god and the most important thing that man needs in his life is the life of god rest all the material things of this world are for a short while and god gives it freely to all his creation but god will never give divine life to a person who enjoys sin just like light and darkness can never abide together likewise likewise peace of divine life and joy of sin can never abide together in the life of a person that is why god right from the beginning warns mankind in regard to sin that is waiting to take control over his life we know how almighty god warned cain before sin caught hold of him and when god redeemed the children of israel from the bondage of egypt and chose them as his chosen people god wanted them to have the fear of the lord when holy god descended on mount sinai all the people who sanctified themselves for 3 days and were eagerly waiting to see the glory of god fled from the presence of the lord with fear but god does not want his children to have such a fear that will keep them away from him we see how god himself commanded his children to build the holy tabernacle so that god may dwell among his own people god wants his people to fear him so that they may know the seriousness of a holy life And so God through his servant Moses commanded them and Moses said unto the people fear not for God is come to prove you and that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not God wants the people to have his fear before their faces so that they may not sin Fear of the Lord does not mean that we may run away from his presence but be away from sin If we have the fear of the Lord that will help us to be away from sin and only then we can abide in the lord who is holy so the scripture says the fear of the lord tendeth to life and he that hath it shall abide satisfied satisfaction of the soul and spirit depends upon the peace and comfort it receives when it enjoys the sweet communion with the holy almighty god the wealth of this world can never give us the satisfaction which our soul and spirit yearns for And the spirit of the Lord says a person who has the fear of the Lord shall not be visited with evil. For us evil means the calamities and the problems that we face in this life upon this earth. But in the eyes of the Lord the most evil thing is the sinful life that will destroy the life of a person forever and will bring the judgment of God upon him. Sin destroys the life of a person for eternity and the judgment of God that it brings is so severe that none can escape it nor can anyone help us escape it other than the merciful god 
So these days when the coming of the Lord is very near and the time is short before us, let us have the fear of the Lord in our lives. Let us not fear the Lord and follow Him for the blessings of this world or to escape the punishment of hell. But let us fear the Lord and obey Him so that our life be holy and pleasing to the Lord. Let us keep ourselves away from sin that brings death in our lives. Let us experience divine life abundantly in our lives so that our soul and spirit be satisfied with it. If we abide in the Lord, then sin can never rule over our lives. And then we will be counted among the most blessed people of this earth. May the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us and thank you for your precious word that speaks straight to our heart. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege you have given us to be your children. Thank you, Lord, for delivering us from sin. There was a time we did not recognize you, but we lived according to our desires and we lived for ourselves. But thank you, Lord, for the realization that you have brought into our lives. Lord, you love us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace. But help us in these days to be always aware of how great you are, how righteous you are, how holy you are, so that our life is molded in the way you want us to be. Continue to speak to us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.